What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this love button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, cups, your side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply to apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. This is um, a free general collective reading for all signs, cups, and sides. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific situation and story, not anybody else, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so um, it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Um, you have to plug yourself into the story where you fit, if you do fit, or you just might enjoy uh, viewing the story. However, that resonates and applies for you. Free general collective reading. So, um, just saying, just saying. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private competition way to donate. If you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,240 subscribers. So, thanks so much. Love you guys. Okay. So, um... The, okay, so this is a really freaking good one, man. Just saying, just saying. Um, I love the good ones. You know I deliver the good and bad. Um, this is a good one, so we're going to do it. And if anybody's wondering, no, I haven't started July's readings yet. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> I've still got to, I mean, I think I'm going to do them tonight, man. I've got like two days. I just haven't really felt guided to do them for some reason. Like, it's like something comes up. Or I'm out running errands or working out or something comes up or blase, blase, blase. I just haven't felt guided. And honestly, inside myself, I really just haven't felt guided to do them. And then channel messages come up. So, I mean, it is what it is. There's a reason. So, I don't know what, what the reason is. I don't know. Um, it's not because I'm not here to do them sometimes because I'm here. Um, well, not all the time, but the point is, I just haven't really, really feel guided to do them, and that's just the truth. I might do them tonight um, if I feel guided to do them, and that's just the truth. Um, I don't want to be forcing anything, and that's the truth. So, I haven't even felt guided to do one sign, not even one of the 12. So, I'm just kind of waiting um, to see if I hear a sign or feel guided to do a sign or what have you, what have you. So, we're just going to go where the wind takes us, like Pocahontas, just saying, just saying. Okay, so, this channel message uh, is a good one. I heard love is in the air, and that's all I heard, love is in the air. So, my gosh, the summertime weather's got somebody like, whoa, just saying, just saying, just saying, love is in the air, baby. So, when I heard that, I got the energy deck out, and I've got the moon cycle deck out, um, Love's in the air, man. Um, I, I've got the tea leaves over here, too, on standby, but I don't, I might not use them. I think I'll use Animal Spirit, possibly, but love is in the air. So, one of you guys is in love? One, I mean, I heard love. I didn't hear wants to rock them all night long, leave them, don't call them, and ghost them for five years. I didn't hear that. I heard love, like, like, L-O-V-E, like, Caring and affection and wonderful sex, I hope, and all the wonderful freaking things included in love. I'm just saying, just saying. Damn. <laughs> so I feel one of you guys is in love or somebody's in love with you. I mean, energies can be reversed. So either you're in love or you're in love with somebody. Um. Now, whether you've told this person or they told you, I don't know, man. This person is very, very, very smart. Very smart. And so is the person they are slowly falling in love with. Watching them. Have learned a lot about them. Not in an obsessive, not in an obsessive, creepy way. Okay. 
This time. This time. Oh, God. This time. Whoa. Well, okay. Um, okay. So not in an obsessive, creepy way this time. Um, I heard they're this. Okay. So it's either you watching somebody or somebody's watching you. Um, energy just could be reversed. Somebody's in love. love I, mean, I heard love. I didn't hear banging the sheets for, you know, three hours of wild uh, sex, which that's wonderful in a loving relationship for sure. But I think this is more than that is what I'm trying to say. I, I think it's more than that. I think it's um, more than that. And I'm just being for real. Um, I heard watching not in a, cre in a creepy, obsessive way this time. Um, you're either watching somebody or somebody's watching you and they're learning a lot about you. Um, and I think that might be what's bringing the feelings upon, like the true feelings. Ow. Um, am I fit to sleep? Sorry. Um, that's exactly what I think. Who this is for. I heard not in a, not in a creepy, obsessive way this time. So it's not in, an, in a creepy, obsessive way this time. So in the past, it might have been in a creepy, obsessive way. Either they were watching you or what you were watching them in the past. Um, but it was not intentional. The truth is known now. But it was not intentional. The truth is known now. Okay, so it was not in an intentional way. They were creepily, obsessive, obsessively watching you. Or you were creepily, obsessively watching them. Um, the truth is known now. So the truth has been exposed about something. Something that was creepy and obsessive in the past, but it wasn't meant, like whoever was watching you or they were watching you, they wasn't meant to watch you or you meant to watch them in a cre creepy, obsessive way. They didn't know it was illegal or out of line or something. Probably through some weird voyeur camera possibly in the past or through some weird illegal business or something. Um... Oh, or what have you? I mean, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. But whoever was watching you in the past, it was out of line or creepy or obsessive or illegal or something in the past, but they didn't know it. They didn't know it. But the truth is known now. But now they're watching you in a healthy way. Um, and I heard they're learning a lot about you. Um, and I think that's what's creating the feelings of love, or you're learning a lot about the other person, and it's creating feelings of love. How would that resonate? Okay, you guys. But I heard the truth's been exposed about it, so I mean, um, that's good. That's good. The truth has been exposed. I think it's been exposed to this person or been exposed to you. How that resonates? You have to plug yourself into the story where you fit. We've got somebody in love in here. Too many. I heard they're very intelligent. Um, or you're very intelligent. Whoever this is, they're very, very intelligent. So, um, if you're the one they're in love with, because you know this can go two ways. You're either the person they're in love with, or you're the person that's falling in love with somebody. And I feel it's, you're watching them somehow, if you're this person. You're watching them somehow. I think it's on social media, or a video, or videos, or something. Um, it's some kind of, it's a, it's a legal, healthy way, or however you're doing it now, sir or ma'am. It's a legal, healthy way, however you're doing it, doing it now, if you resonate over here. If you resonate over here, you're the person they're watching. I'm um, safe so to plug yourself in where you fit. But whoever this person is that's watching, that's in love, um, they're very intelligent. I'll tell you that. Very intelligent. A lot of air sign energy, but positive, upright air sign energy. Very freaking intelligent. Some they could be an air sign. I'm not saying they are. I didn't hear they were, but for some they could be. And I'm just being for real. Spirit messages you have a focus. Where's that boy? Where's that boy, Where's that boy? Hey, hold on one second, you guys. I'm sorry. Bad boy. Where you at? 
Bad boy. Mm. Oh, okay. I got him. I got him, Sprite. He's coming. He's coming. Come here, buddy. Come on. I know it. Come on. Come here. Come on. Up here. Come on. Come on, Booger. Come on. Experiment to this year. Come on. Oh my god. So look what we got, you guys. Appreciation in reverse, door to romance upright. Come on, Booger. Booger, Booger, Booger. Come on. Come on. Hey, I know. Okay, number 15 or 33 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 15 or 33, it could be a possible age of a child or yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 15 or 33. Appreciation reverse, door to romance upright. This person did not appreciate you in the past. Not at all. But through many series of chain of events, they're going to make it right. Or at least try to make it right. Come on, Booger. Come on. Okay, so I heard this person did not appreciate you in the past. Not at all. But through many series of chain of events, they're going to try to make it right. Or at least try to make it right. So, appreciation reverse, if you're this person over here that they're watching, um, they did not appreciate you in the past. Um, but, I mean, they didn't appreciate you. They didn't. Maybe they disrespected you or talked bad about you or did something negative to you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, however that resonates and applies, I mean, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, but they did not appreciate you, and they, i.e., they did not respect you. And the thing is, is in any healthy, loving relationship, you have to have respect and trust there. If you do not have respect and trust there, it's not a healthy, copacetic relationship. And I don't care if you have $5 in the bank or $5 million in the bank or $5 billion in the bank. That's just the truth. That's the truth. This is not about money. This is about human, human nature and being a good person. Um, and that's just the truth. So I heard they did not uh, appreciate you in the past, but through many series of time events, they're going to try to make it right. Um, well, make it right, or at least try to make it right. So appreciation reverse. Come on. Okay, confirmation from Fat Boy. I kind of riled him up there for a minute, so I wasn't going to call confirmation on that, but it keeps going on. So just hang on. Come on. Come on. So he didn't. Um, he or she did not appreciate you, respect you. Uh, maybe for some they didn't. I feel they did not respect your boundaries. Um, I heard they um, basically did not respect you in the past. Um, they were watching you in some weird way in the past. Yeah, come on, I'm right here. Yeah. Um, but um, right here, down here. Um, but they're going to make it right or at least try to make it right. So, well, that's good. That's a good stepping stone, healing and stepping stone. Hopefully, they tell you the truth about something of the past is what I'm hoping to make an appreciation of right. Because it's a, it was appreciation reverse of the past, but they want, oops, sorry. They want to make it appreciation upright now. So, telling you the truth would be the first step stepping stone there in my opinion and that's just the truth um and i'm just being real
I was looking at the picture. Looks like a wardrobe, but at first I thought it was a bed. But it's not. Well, it might be. Be one of those old 1800 old hobby beds. It could be. Door to romance. The floodgates of truth are about to flood open soon. For many, 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 many series of chain of events. Many. This person knows they have to earn your trust, your respect, and the physical, and all of it, and they're right. Okay, I heard the floodgates are about to open through basically a crap ton of series of chain of events. This person knows they have to earn your trust, your respect. The physical and all of it. So um, they have you, they have to earn you. They have to earn you, and they should have to earn you. They should have to earn you. Um, nothing comes for free in life, and that's just the truth. Period. Point blank. Bar none. Nothing comes for free. Period. Um, that's just the truth. I don't care what it is. Nothing, including a person, um, especially a person. Um, so I heard the floodgates of truth are basically about to flood open um, soon. So honesty, truth, respect, morals, integrity, and value, upright energy here, which is really, really good. Um, truth, floodgates of truth, um, which is going to turn the appreciation reverse, appreciation upright. Because I think they truly do. I mean, I think they can see a life with you. Or they do see a life with you. Um, or they want a life with you. Like, this is like. This isn't like sneaky link third party situationship energy. And whoever this is, they definitely were attracted. They're definitely always been attracted to you. Now, I'm just being for real. I'm keeping it 100 here. They have always been attracted to you, for real, for real, sexually, uh, physically, absolutely, bar none, 100%. But when you are sexually attracted to somebody, there's a difference between being sexually attracted to somebody and respecting them. Um, you, some, you can be sexually attracted to somebody and... and um, not respect them and that's just the truth um that is so the truth um there's many people i've been very sexually attracted to to but have i respected them hell no but they've caused me not to respect them um you can be physically attracted to somebody all day long and not respect them and that's just the truth i mean i'll give you a good example this person does not live in my neighborhood anymore they moved away a couple years ago but very i've been here in my neighborhood for five years now but there was a very, very, very good looking guy. And he used to live down, not on my street, but a street down from me. He used to jog all the time. Very good looking. Holy smokes, was he good looking. Um, very physically, aesthetically pleasing. I mean, dear God Almighty, he was. But he was the biggest chief you would ever have known in your life. He was married. They have moved since. He was married. I used to go walking um, around the neighborhood at night. I don't walk in my neighborhood anymore. I walk at my walking spot for safety. Um, but back then, I used to walk in my neighborhood. Um, and I knew where he lived because when he would jog, he would jog to his house. And so I knew where he lived. Well, and I, so I saw his wife out, which she wasn't that good looking, to be honest. She just wasn't, but he was, and he knew he was. He used to go jog up there and meet specific women at the hours of the night that he would jog up, up, up the road. Different women, different women. Trust me, I investigated this shit. I mean, not like in a creepy, weird way, but I was just wondering what the hell he was doing. Like, I love to go jogging. Um, at, well, not jogging, walking at night, but... 
he would it seems like he would do it always at a certain hour of the night um it was because he was meeting these women young women he liked young women his and he was an older man an older man like 40s older man and his wife was too um so what i'm saying is he was very like just looking at him jogging down the street he knew he looked good damn good but would i ever consider being with that guy in a million years no hell no to the his no because i knew what he did i knew exactly what the hell he did there's no way you see what i'm saying so you can be physically so i think this person has been physically attracted to you absolutely been physically attracted to you um, but there was no respect there. There was no respect. There was no um, appreciation. Period. Um, but now, they, I think they have started respecting you. And they do appreciate you. Because whoever you are, I think you put boundaries up. Major boundaries. Major. Major boundaries. Major. Okay, so you have put major boundaries up. That's what I, excuse me, that's what I was feeling. You have put major boundaries up. Yeah. Um, but, I, in all fairness, whoever you are over here, I think you felt like you needed to put major boundaries up against this person. Like I said, you can be sexually attracted to somebody until the cows come home, but you have to have the honesty and the trust and the respect there. You don't have that. You don't have anything. Just like that poor wife, I hope she found out about him because I never told her because I didn't really know them and I didn't know her. If I had got to know her, I probably would have told her, but I didn't know her and I didn't want to get in the middle of their marriage and cause a divorce uh when i didn't know those people you know what i'm saying um uh, and that's just the truth so uh but i hope she found out about him they have since moved it's been a couple years they've since moved but i hope she found out about his sneaky ass A surprise soon. In one of these people's lives, it will be positive. In one of these people's lives, it will be negative. It's about to wake, have a huge wake up call to this connection in a huge way. A surprise here uh, for one of these, one of you guys, it's going to be a positive surprise. One is going to be a negative surprise. So positive tower moment for one of you guys for one negative tower moment. Um, but I heard it's going to give a huge wake up call to the connection here. So, one of you guys, no matter where you fit in the situation, whether you're the one the person has feelings for, or you're the one watching the person, I feel online, and you have feelings, there's about to be a positive or negative power moment in somebody's life here. Um, but it's going to be have a, give a huge wake-up call, I think, to this person, or maybe you over here, if you resonate over here, feelings with the connection here. There's some kind of strong connection here. In some shape form or fashion um i don't think both of you guys have quite realized it i don't think you have quite realized it that yet sir ma'am i think you obviously have i don't think you have that's what i'm feeling it's about to create a huge wake-up call both very 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 highly intellectual and intuitive people it's about to create a huge wake-up call, both very highly intellectual and highly intuitive people. So you're both very highly intellectual and very highly intuitive, which is very, very good for both of you, absolutely. Um, and you're very smart. You're very highly intuitive, both of you. So it sounds like you're both on um, equal or similar mental, spiritual, physical, emotional, sexual levels, which is good uh you don't want a partner that's not on your same mental spiritual physical emotional or sexual level because the relationship's not going to last and that's just the truth and honestly i give you that example of that neighbor of course he's been moved they have been moved away for a couple of years now but they give you that example because like i said she wasn't that good looking but he was hella good looking they were not on the same compatible fields look wise look wise and i mean i'm not trying to be judgmental and mean to this lady because i'm not i actually feel very sorry for her 
very sorry for her. I really wanted to go tell her many times and I'm just being for real. Um, but I felt it'd be weird kind of trying to explain to her how I felt all this shit out. <laughs> and that's just the truth when I didn't know her. <laughs> um, but he knew it. So, and he liked the really young chicks. I mean, young, like not, 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 not legal, but barely legal, if that makes sense. I mean, mind blowingly young. It was disgusting. Um, so they were not on equal compatible physical level, look level. I mean, it just, it looked, you could just tell just by putting those two together. You know what I'm saying? But whoever you guys are, y'all are, y'all are, and that's good. And I think that's what's, I mean, some of it might be what is causing the appreciation possibly too, um, possibly. Because I heard you put your boundaries up with this person. So it's not like you gave in to them. You have not given in to them sexually. I definitely don't think sexually. I don't think you've had sex with them. I don't think you've been a stinky link or a situationship or a third party or anything like that. Um, I think you have kept it kosher with this person. It's somebody you know. It is somebody you know. Um, I definitely think it's somebody you know. Let's see if I hear anything else. It is definitely somebody you know. You have interacted with in the 3D with. It is definitely somebody you know, somebody you have interacted with in the 3D with. So that's confirmation from spiritual realm. It's definitely somebody you know, and it's someone you have interacted with in the 3D with. So somebody you've interacted with in your 3D world. Whoever you are, I think that's for you over here. We have strategy and woman holding a heart and storm warning. Oh, dear God. Okay, hold on. This situation is in very careful balance. Very careful. And this person is going to start taking slow steps here with a lot of communication soon to explain the situation. Oh, okay, I heard the situation is in careful balance and basically this person is going to, uh, the one watching, the one watching, so this person, is going to um, take careful steps soon with a lot of communication to explain the situation. The situation's in very careful balance. It reminds me of like the grasshopper tea leaf, um, you know, situations in careful balance and needs careful balance and handling. The grasshopper card, yeah. I mean, I don't have it like on hand right here, but that's exactly what this reminds me of, like the grasshopper tea leaf. Um, is exactly what this reminds me of. Um, I heard the situation's in very careful balance and it needs to, um, a lot of communication's gonna come soon to, uh, with uh, explaining this situation. So, which I think is going to go very, very good for you. Um, sorry, ma'am, over here in this, this aspect. Yeah, like the grasshopper tea leaf. Situation in the balance that requires careful handling. That's what this reminds me of. Um, so they're going to use strategic. This, I mean, this person, if they're not an air sign, they definitely use their air sign energy. And I'm just being for real. I didn't hear they were an air sign. For some, they could be. Or for some, you could be an air sign. But this person definitely is using their air sign energy. If they are not an air sign. And I'm just being for real. But um, they are definitely coming up with a strategy. I'm telling you that for sure, for sure. They're coming up with a strategy because something is going on in their own personal life. I think that is requiring this. Um, for some, they could be going through divorces or being uh, be in separation or maybe or have something going on. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear the specifics of this, but there's a reason. I mean, they're about to there's a reason they're about to come in with a lot of communication to explain it, but it's because they don't want 
it to get out of hand because something is in careful balance, either in their life, your life, or both of your lives. But I think they care enough to explain it and create a strategy to, to um, so things don't blow up in like a negative power moment. But I did hear one of you guys is going to get a positive power moment soon. One, you're going to get a negative. But whoever's going to get the positive or the negative tower moment is going to realize, make, I think both of you guys, both of you for sure, both of you for sure, okay, I heard both of you for sure, realize the connection is real. Um, and is, I guess, worth fighting for or worth exploring or something. However that resonates um, in one's life here, um, whoever you are. Um, I think I'm pulling both of you guys in. I mean, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. I wonder what the positive and negative tower moments are. My God, I hope it's not like a life-threatening situation or something like that. I mean, I didn't hear it was. Um, I don't know. A cancer, very toxic cancer, is about to become very a very negative influence in one of these people's lives. Going to try to become a negative influence. This would not be smart. One of these people is not even going to be around. One of these toxic cancers is afraid. Feminine energy. Okay, I heard a toxic cancer is going to try to influence one of these people um, soon. It would not be smart. And one of you guys, your femme energy, and I heard a toxic cancer is basically afraid of you. <laughs> so, um, masculine and feminine energies. Masculine and femme energies. Okay, so one one of you guys is a masculine, one of you are a femme. But there's a toxic cancer afraid of a, the femme energy. Um, and that's just for real. A toxic cancer is afraid of the femme energy. So, if you're the femme energy and you plug in this situation and you're the femme energy, no, a toxic cancer is very afraid of you. I think it's the masculine where I think the toxic cancer is about to come in. And I heard they're going to try to um, get the masculine to do something uh, very toxic, but I heard it wouldn't be smart. So I think it might be you masculine over here. I think you might be the masculine. Of course, energies could reverse and you plug yourself in where you fit. But however you resonate masculine energy, a toxic cancer, they can be masculine or femme. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midham, or Jupiter charts. Heard a toxic cancer is going to try to uh, come in basically soon and try to get you to do something. Um, and I heard it wouldn't be smart. It's something toxic. And I think it's something sexual for some of you guys. For some, it could be drugs um, or something else. Uh, drugs or strip club or, uh, or I don't know. I think it's something sexual or something. I think it's something sexual um, is exactly what the hell I think it is. Or some, or something drug related, or, or what have you, what have you. Some reason I feel strip club energy for some of you guys. I didn't hear strip club, but I feel strip club energy for some. Um, but I heard it wouldn't be smart. Um, that's for the masculine. Now for the fem, there's a toxic can cancer connected to you too. Um, but I heard the toxic cancer um, that's connected to you, fem. They're afraid of your ass. So it's not even going to like phase you because they're afraid of you. They, they're not going to try to come towards you because they're afraid of your ass. Um, it's the masculine the toxic cancer is going to try to come towards. So I wonder if this is a prostitute, if she's a prostitute, or if she is a stripper, or if she is um, a drug dealer, or something like that or man it could be a man or a woman cancer toxic cancer a gigolo i mean i'm not sure they could have cancer in their sun moon rising venus north node main hamish you would charge you plug it in how it resonates masculine energy i heard it wouldn't be smart so you plug it in how it resonates
All right, we're done. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped and I'm staying.